What I have here are shoes. This shoe right here lasted two weeks. This shoe right here lasted a lot longer. This, this shoe shouldn't be here. This is my work shoe. And if you're not a skateboarder and you don't know what I'm talking about, these are skate shoes. I don't just walk around in shoes and just, they just fall apart like this. I'm not, I don't, I don't know what would make that happen. But if you're a skateboarder, you already know they, this happens. And if you're a beginner skateboarder, you are having trouble picking shoes that will last longer, like, like this one. Also, I kinda have to be quiet because my roommates are here. I don't wanna annoy them with my loudness. Anyway, I'm here to explain to you how to buy skate shoes that last a long time because there are definitely shoes that don't last a long time. So pretty much the two things you wanna keep in mind are the material. There's these, which are canvas. So it's canvas, you know. A lot, you pretty much, most people have canvas shoes that are just street walking around shoes. And then there's suede. But there's pros and cons to both of them, so I'm about to get into all of that with you right now, starting with the canvas. Basically, canvas doesn't last a long time because it's made of canvas. It's not very durable. It, uh, it's also more grippy than suede, so it's going to grab onto the grip tape more, and then you're going to end up ripping it more because it's grabbing onto it more. And then on top of it not being as durable because it's just canvas and not anything really, you know, durable, it's just not gonna last that long. But it's more comfortable and it's going to feel better quicker and it's lighter because it's made of canvas. But it's not gonna last as long. You're spending more money because they, a lot of these cost the same as the suede ones, especially if you're going on a, like dcshoes.com and there's a sale, which there's always a sale on dcshoes.com, not sponsored, but like they literally it's the best place to get shoes. Anyway, if you're going for a sale and there's these two are the same price, just go for the suede. Honestly, suede is just the way to go. There's also this stuff called super suede. Um, I've skated it before. I didn't know it was too big of a difference. It didn't last that much longer, but you, it's marketed as it's a lot better. So maybe get that, try it out. Um, it also costs more obviously. There's a lot of pros to the suede, but there's also a lot of cons. It doesn't feel very good right out of the box. You have to break them in. You have to break them in hard. They're also heavier, so it's gonna, you know, it's not by a whole lot, but it's enough to count it as a con. And they're also more stiff, so you know you're gonna be skateboarding a lot in them. They're eventually gonna wear out and be less stiff, but it's gonna take a while. On the other hand, canvas, I was almost immediately after putting these on, I could do pretty much everything. I didn't have to worry about anything. They were they're really grippy, and they uh, they felt good, and I could feel my skateboard. But also when I pre mode these hurt a lot. Suede, on the other hand, did not hurt. When I first get suede shoes and I haven't broken them in, in the first few weeks, I don't feel any primos, no matter what, no matter what I'm jumping down. Towards the end of the shoe's life, you're gonna start feeling it more. It's not gonna be as much fun, but it's gonna last longer still. So basically, these break in faster, but also die faster. But they also feel better quicker for the majority of its life until you start, you know, you get a hole like right here and then your foot starts bleeding because the grip tape's all over your foot instead of the shoe, which did happen with these. If you have a lot of money just to spend on shoes, then maybe get these so you can switch them out every two weeks. If you don't have a lot of money, just go for these and deal with the annoyingness of having to break them in every time you get new shoes. But if you're jumping down big stuff, you're going to want shoes that protect your feet because your feet are important. That's like all of skateboarding right there. But if you're jumping down big stuff, you're going to want to get some insoles. I hear FP insoles are really good. I have never used them. Um, I probably should. Um, insoles in these are pretty good at first, but you're probably going to want to get some FP insoles. can't really vouch for them because I've never used them, but I know plenty of people who use them all the time, exclusively. Another thing to keep in mind with suede is, since it's more durable, slippery kind of, you know, just kind of slippery, is more grippy, just because of how it's made, what the material's made out of, what material it is has. Well, you're gonna have to adjust your flick. If you've been using canvas shoes and you switch to suede for the first time, it's gonna be weird, it's gonna be real weird. You're gonna have to flick way differently. I flick almost down sometimes when I'm doing some tricks with suede shoes because it's just that much slippery. So it feels a little weird, but once you get used to it, it's really not that big of a deal. You just flick differently. My opinion, suede is the way to go. 
but if you don't there's a, there's some there are some cons with suede shoes so you should keep those in mind if you really don't like those cons then probably canvas anyway there's other things to look into other than just the material of the shoe where the shoelaces are if the shoelaces are like all up on this area like these you're gonna be ripping shoelaces constantly these I ripped the spot right there and then just tied it up a little higher and I never ripped them anywhere else um, so and you know if you rip shoelaces every day you're gonna be buying shoelaces every day and if you're buying shoelaces every day that's extra money you don't have another thing to keep in mind is a thick shoe versus a not thick shoe so like this canvas shoe super thin it makes it lighter it makes it more you know flexible and then this shoe is thicker and it's gonna be not as flexible obviously but it's more cushiony keep you keeps your feet more safe and stuff which is always nice but it's not you're not gonna be able to feel the board as much what I would do dcshoes.com again not sponsored they do have sales constantly you can go in and there's like deals where you, if you buy a bunch of shoes you get like shipping for free and a bunch of stuff like that get like three different types of shoes thick thick one not thick one canvas uh, suede super suede test all of them out skate through all of them um, they're all they all have their pros and cons so it's not like buying one's a waste of money unless you spent a whole app, bunch of money on one that's not going to last very long like this one not on sale was too expensive i had to get it on sale or else i could not justify buying it i test them all out see what your personal preference is and then once you once you decide your favorite one just get solely that one and then just stick with it till they discontinue the shoe and then then you do it again and find your new favorite one i'll see you guys in the next one click uh, this movie or movie this is like it's like <laughs> like it's netflix click this click this youtube video or this youtube video and watch one of them on that note i'm gonna i'm gonna leave because i'm done talking